Good evening and welcome to the 2021 Seven News Young Achiever Awards Gala Presentation Dinner. This is our first year of sponsor uh, for the uh, Young Achievers Award and uh, we're very proud to be here. Um, the winner of the two 2021 Riverbank Estate Health and Wellbeing Award is Trevor Menmuir. Well done. Education Western Australia Young Leadership Award is Sophie Stewart. I'm pleased to announce that the winner of this category is Andrew Bannister. I would like to congratulate the winner for tonight, who is Hamish McCurdy. The 2021 WA Young Achiever Sports Award is Tegan Rita. Clearly, clearly I'm representing at the moment. And the winner is Kyle Watt. Winner of the Australian Awards Australia Regional Service Award is Tom Wheeler. And it's a pleasure to announce this winner because he dresses like a good real estate agent. You can come and see me afterwards, Eldon Rostam. invite our category winners back to the stage. The final job for me for the night to announce the Young Achiever of the Year for 2021 is Sophie Stewart. <laughs> You know, how do we give young people um, more than just a voice, but how do we resource, how do we back, how do we support our young people? Um, and also, how do we support the most marginalised young people in our community? It's Reconciliation Week. How are we supporting Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander young people in our community? How are we supporting people who are not on visas and in the COVID pandemic are left without support in our community? Because all of those people are people who make up the rich part of our community. Um, and I, get, I guess the other key part is, you know, um, for me, there's some really passionate issues that I really care about. One is, how do we say welcome in Western Australia? Because, you know, we're a welcoming place and welcoming people, and how do we make people feel like they're a part of our community? But also some of the more serious things that we need to look inwards and address. So for me, raising the age of criminal responsibility from 10 years old, we need to stop imprisoning 10-year-old children 
and we need to start looking at how we can support young people who are at risk earlier on because as a community we've got a larger responsibility to children than we do to anyone else and as young people we can see that even more clearly.